because I haven't done um, a K-pop look um, and this is one that was really requested when it first came out um, sorry, it's just low energy the Triple H 365 Fresh I think it's called shit I mean it's not that unique in that it's literally just like the blush and the freckles and I've done that before but um, this is gonna be more so like a get ready with me because I'm gonna wear it because I bought this shirt um, from that vlog with um, the day six vlog, I went to that store where I had like, the, the anti-social club t-shirts and stuff. I forgot the name of the place, but I'll put a link down below to the location, but I bought this shirt. And uh, I wore it yesterday, and the outfit I had, I looked like I was going bowling. I really liked it. I'm wearing it with these, and I think these glasses suit the look. I'll link these glasses down below as well. They're my collaboration glasses, NYBK. But for looks where I have to do um, freckles, I have to make sure my skin is looking really, really smooth. Because uh, otherwise, I will go at this look with more of a... Because their skin seems quite fresh and very dewy to me, but um, because my skin is textured, I can't just go on with. Um, so, because I'm sure you guys have seen it, if I only do dewy skin, it doesn't look the best because my skin is more on the uh, textured side. But if you have really great skin, you can do that. But for me, I'm going to show you my kind of foundation routine for my acne. Um, what is it? My acne scarred skin. I'm going to use a green primer first to kind of knock down the redness. When I'm using tones like the ones we're going to use today. Um, I feel like you gotta really take out the redness in the face, otherwise, um, the other tones that you, like, you put on your lips or your eyes can make, can exasperate the look of redness on the other parts of your face. And this one is just from, uh, 3C. I don't think, uh, I don't think she helps foundation last any longer, but I like how, but you do have to use a little bit though, because it can come off more, like, that kind of white cast sunscreen look. Then to set that and kind of um, prep my skin for foundation, uh, because I do have oily skin and it is summer, or it's warm now, um, I'm gonna use the kind of powder under foundation technique. And this is just the MAC one, because it's really, really, really thin. And that will also help me use less foundation later. Although we're gonna be using quite a number of products for the base. I need to make sure I use really thin layers of everything, like very little, very little product, because um, I don't want it to look cakey at the end of the day. And like I said, because we do have that powder underneath, it will help, um, so I don't really have that much. And even on my face, I want to make sure I really thin it out on my face. It will help the, the coverage and it will help me keep from, it will help keep me from having to use more product because I feel like, oh, there's not enough cover, so I have to have to add more. Having a powder underneath will, what am trying to say? It will just help the foundation look better. And as you can see. My contacts, by the way, are the Blue Hawaii from Lens Me. Yesterday I finished filming the music video. Oh, if you haven't, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I announced that I'm going to be releasing a single with Aura and Friday. Aura and Friday are um, working together as like a producer duo called Trophy Cat, and we're releasing a song together. On, on the on the Instagram post, I joke that oh, I'm going to be a K-pop. I'm not a K-pop idol. This is the song is going to be English and Korean, but um, we're releasing it more like on the pop side. Like in Korea, they call American music pop. Um, really, seeing more on that side and not like K-pop. So I don't want anyone to go. He thinks a K-pop idol now. I'm not. I'm really not. If you see anywhere on the internet people saying, "Oh, everyone thinks," I'll let you know that I don't think I am a one at all. I'm not a. I'm not even a very good singer because I posted that. And some of my friends were like, "You're a singer? I didn't know you were a singer. I don't know you sing." I don't sing. I don't. I'm not bad, but I'm not like the best. Then a little bit of concealer under my eyes, in a slight, just like a slightly lighter color and you know like the regular highlight spots there should be no surprise to you I'm 
we are having quite a bit of trouble trying to find because what we wanted to do was um, oh I'm going to KCON New York with Joan um, there's another thing I haven't announced on my YouTube channel and a, we were arriving a few days before KCON about a week before though and I was gonna have a meet and greet in New York but we're having trouble finding a venue we don't have that much of a budget or we're still trying to plan it out um, because all the venues are super super expensive so if there's a place that you can suggest or you know someone could you like let me know and also uh, the day of the meet and greet we wanted to have the um, premiere the music video for the song now I forgot what I was gonna say shit anyway there's just a lot of stuff going on and I'm like all over the place so it's looking, the skin is looking pretty perfected, but it's not looking too, too heavy. It might look a little bit lighter than my neck on camera, but in person, um, it looks much better. As a final step, I'm going to set with this powder from MAC. It is, it's in the, like, it's the right value in terms of, like, how light it is for my skin. Or not light, how, like, light or dark it is for my skin, but it's quite yellow, so that will help kind of maybe push back that kind of white castishness if it's on camera, or even in person, though. Um, it'll help make that less apparent. And this will really help because it's a powder foundation. It will help add just a tiny bit more. It looks like I'm using a lot, but again, this is not too much. And I am using a beauty blender with it, so it's it's helping apply to the skin more naturally. And in person, it really doesn't look like makeup, especially after this one thing I'm about to do. So after the base is all done and set, I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and make sure to really buff over all of the skin. And this will really give you that soft focus finish, especially if you're the type of person that uses a lot of powders. It will make the makeup look less like makeup. It will just look like skin. But as you can see, it doesn't look too much like makeup. It still looks quite natural. Now to finish off the base, I'm actually, uh, this is probably something people would do last, but um, I'm holding the palette now and I think I'm gonna work with my face first, um, is use blush. Now, they had more of like an orangey, bronzy kind of blush. Um, I don't have one in my collection right now because I probably gave them all away uh, because I didn't really use them. But I'm gonna take this Etude House palette, which I've been obsessed with lately, and I'm gonna take a mix of these two colors. Um, I'm gonna kind of create, um, I'm not gonna contour, I usually, not contour, but kind of shade around my face to add a warmth, but for this look, I'm just going to add color to like the tops of my cheeks. And I'm going to take this sort of blush, it's not blush, well it's like a blush. You would think to use it as a contour, but it's more of like, it's more on the orangey side, but I'm going to take a mix of that blush that's actually in the palette. So it's more uh, on the corally side. It's a really pretty one, so. And I'm going to place it like pretty high up here. Almost into the temple. Going in circular motions. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love it. It's actually the perfect color. I was really worried I wouldn't have a blush for this look, but that's the color. And because we had all those powders underneath, this is gonna blend super smoothly. Taking it up into the temples. If you want, you can take it onto the forehead. Oh, girl, she's shedding. Just like that. Oh, that's really. I actually didn't practice this look, so I'm surprised that it's going better than it's for now. Which I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna fuck it up later. Okay, and then I'm gonna add the um, freckles now. I used in my one get ready with me where I used, uh, where I created freckles on my face, I used this eyebrow pen from MAC. I'm gonna use the same thing. I'm actually not gonna add that many because I feel like with a lot of freckle looks, the freckles are like the main point, but for this one, I feel like it's almost more about the blush in the eyes. So I'm only gonna add a few more on like the tops of the cheeks here and very few in the middle which is actually the opposite of what I would usually do if I do freckle makeup and the reason I was doing that method of foundation where I have to make sure my skin is really smooth I don't know if I already said it I probably already did um, <clears throat> is because freckles can look like scarring so I need to make sure my skin is as smooth as possible before I attempt this sort of look oh fuck I was supposed to do a highlighter before this because if I do highlighter now it will rub off the freckles shit Right as I said, oh my god, it's going better than expected. I fuck it up right after. I think I'll just leave it at that. I'll, let, I'll finish with highlighter at the end so that it gives the freckles some time to set. I'm gonna do my brows really quick. Um, very blonde eyebrows, so I'm gonna use this um, NYX brow pencil in taupe to just fill in any empty spaces, and then I'm gonna color my brows um, with a 
I'm gonna recolor my brows with just like the regular brow mascara that I've been using lately to light my brow hair. If you want to be really like exact about how they did um, their eyebrows, it was quite there was more of like an arch up here, and then as it went to like the center of the brows, it was more um, narrow the brows, so it's more of like a like this shape, like kind of triangular. So if that's you want to copy the look exactly, that's how they did it. But I'm just doing my brows the way I usually do. And then I'm going to use this brow neutralizer from Pony Effect to knock out the color of the because my brows are so dark. So dark because my brows are so dark. And then go with the light blonde color to recolor them. For eyeshadow, I'm gonna use only three colors. Um, I'm gonna use this actually has this cool palette. And I'm gonna be using these two matte um, sort of mauve shades. And there were several different looks that they had, but this one stood out the most to me. I really think he might have just used one eyeshadow or maybe even two. Uh, but this literally there was no liner. I'm gonna use eyeliner because I feel like my eyes look quite small and beady if there's like nothing or if it's just a, just eyeshadow. But depending on your personal preference, just do whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna go in with a lighter mauve shade all over the lid. Just a really light wash. And then whatever is left. Go ahead and we'll maybe I'll dip back in just a little bit to go with my hand. Or my wrist, sorry. Because it's quite blown out underneath. And I'm not really about that look because I think it makes you look sick. But you know what? We'll do it for the vine. And using this kind of small blending brush, I'm gonna go in with a slightly deeper mauve shade and put that on the outer corner. And also running it lower down here on the lower lash line. And it's more so just to add some depth. You know, this is, no, this is too fluffy. I'm gonna use a more concentrated pencil brush. And the colors are too far off in uh, like value. One is just a little lighter than the other. I'm also gonna put it on the inner corner. So it's adding more of like a natural shape or dimension to the eye, rather than straight up like two completely different colors. Just kind of <laughs> professional. Mm. All right, that's uh, that's interesting. And now you can actually leave it at that. However. I'm gonna add like the slightest, like the slightest, like whisper of an orange shadow. I'm sounding so nervous saying that. Um, Real Gar from the Anastasia palette. I'm gonna like touch, like, like whisper, like a whisper on my brush, and then like, l like take off nearly all of it, like off on my wrist. I'm gonna just, just like, just. Um, the back of the brush that doesn't have any product I'm gonna use to blend that. Oh shit, did I just fall? Oh my god. Alright, make sure you actually coat the brush evenly. That's not what I did apparently. Make sure it's like all over the face of the brush and then, then take it off on your wrist. And this will add a real, I don't know how to describe it, but it will just add this sort of dimension to it. You know what, now that I have done it, it actually looks okay with no liner, um, but I will add a little bit in the way that I usually do, just to extend the shape of my eye. Just like that. Alright, now let's add that highlighter. Now, um, like I was saying, uh, because if my skin was much better, I would just go do Dewey so I wouldn't really need to do this. Uh, but I use powder, so I'm gonna have to put um, a powder highlighter. And right now, this is my most natural looking one. It really, it gives pretty good payoff in terms of textures, more on the skin-like side. Um, because a lot of highlighters, if you use too much, they can they will look like a pear on the skin. But the Shin Stealer one from Too Cool for School is really natural looking. So I'm just gonna use. Oh god, I hope the freckles set. Very yeah, a whisper. Oh. And then last but not least, I'm going to add something to my lips. This 
actually, if your lips are naturally like a light pink, you don't need to do anything to them. For me, girl, she's looking uh, real crusty. So I'm just gonna add more of like a lip balm with a, with a bit of, with like a whisper of color, a hint of color. My friend worked at Dior and he gave he gave this to me because they were giving them free products as like compensation for their time. And this is their lip glow, their color revival balm, and this is in like the peach shade. It really doesn't register too much color. It has like the most faint orangey peachy glow. And uh, that's what we want for this look. I'm gonna use a bit of NYX Matte Finish uh, Mist to make sure it stays. So that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun with this one. I came out much better than I thought. Uh, Cause in my house, like, oh god, this is just one of those looks that nobody's really gonna care about. But y'all probably don't care. Y'all probably don't care. But you know, what? I really like it. So I really like this combination of like the cool and the warm. It almost has like, almost like a neon kind of glow to the eyes. Anyway, um, I'll see you guys later. <coughs> Sorry about <coughs> my like lack of energy in this one. Uh, hopefully, it'll be better the next one. Bye bye. Whoa. Whoa.